Police in Thailand say they are confident they have the man responsible for a bombing that killed 20 people in Bangkok. After the bombing, officials released unclear and contradictory statements about the suspects and the motive for the attack. Critics are skeptical about the investigation. Officials say they have identified the bomber and the network that helped him in the attack. Officials identified Bilal Muhammad, also called Muhammad Billa Turk, as the suspect who placed a bomb August 17th at the Erewhon Shrine. He was carrying a false Turkish passport, officials said. The suspect wore a yellow T-shirt. The alleged bomber seen on video was also wearing a yellow T-shirt. He was forced to publicly reenact the bombing at the shrine Saturday. Thai investigators commonly use this method. A second suspect is also being held. Yusufu Miareli is a 25-year-old native of Xinjiang, China. He is accused of providing the bomb and taking photographs of the blast. Police said both men have confessed to the bombing. Officials suspect 17 people were involved in the deadly attack on the Hindu religious place. A second bombing at Saton Pier took place the following day, but no one was injured. Earlier, investigators said the masterminds of the crime fled Thailand. They reject the idea that the attack was terrorism. The Royal Thai Police Commissioner General said the case was clear. He said the attackers were part of a human smuggling network. He said they acted against the Thai government's force against human trafficking networks. However, the top police and other officials say the group was likely hired by others. They said political interest could not be ruled out. Authorities have given few clues about other political motivations for the attack. Others have suggested it could be linked to political divisions in the country. Thai officials have been unwilling to call the bombing a terrorist attack. They fear it will harm Thailand's important tourism industry. But Thai media have drawn a link between the bombing and Thailand's actions against ethnic Uyghurs. Thailand forcibly returned more than 100 ethnic Uyghurs to China in July. Rights groups and exiled Uyghurs condemned the move by the Thai military government. The Thai government has increased ties with China. Turkey's diplomatic mission in Bangkok has twice expressed concerns about reported links to its nationals. It has also said there has been a lack of communication with Thai officials.